This video is going to be on how to make an image display conditionally. We're going to select an image that was placed onto a label, select that image status to be conditional, and create the conditional statement. Then finally, we'll print and display the results. We're going to start with a label that has two fields. One field is going to be the image file, in this case the two checkered flags, and the other image, or the other field on the label is going to be the keyboard input, which is the yes. To start here, we're going to need to right click on the image and then go to the properties. Once in the properties, we're going to open to the picture tab. We'll need to change that to the general tab and then look towards the bottom for the image status. By default it's set to enabled and we're going to change that to conditional. Then we'll click the set button which will trigger a warning message saying that the expression has not been set up and if statement will be used. Go ahead and click OK. And you'll notice that the if statement by default uses a greater than function to determine whether the image will print or not. We're going to go ahead and change the first part of that expression in the if parentheses to be equals because we want the statement to say if the keyboard value equals a Y then we'll print the image otherwise we will not print the image. So to begin we're going to highlight the first section of the if statement and then we're going to delete that section and we're going to click on other and then we're going to look in the list for our logic functions and there we'll find equals is the first option that inserts the equal statement now I want to sec change the first parameter of the equal statement to be our keyboard variable and then I want to change the second part of the equal statement to be uh, y and we're going to use parentheses to bring that in as literal text that changes the statement to say if the keyboard value equals Y, the image will print. Otherwise, the image will not print. Go ahead and hit OK twice there, and we'll get back to the label, and we're ready to print. So I'm going to go ahead and click on print, and we're going to do a print to picture to show the results. And we'll say OK. You just have to save the file name. In this case, we'll choose image. And then I'm going to print a result with Y in there and then we're going to change the AA result to N and we'll print that one as well and let's take a look at what we got. We have one with the flags and then one without the flags. That concludes the video for today. We have a wonderful day.